When we're looking at sigma convergence, we have data downloaded here on employment for each country that we're looking at for the years 1951 to 2017. Beside that, then we have data for GDP for each country. And what we want to do is first calculate GDP per worker and subsequently calculate the standard deviation for each year for that. Okay, so if we're going to calculate the GDP per worker, the first thing I am going to do is just copy and paste over so that I have all the same headings, GDP divided by employment, I'm going to change to here, and we're going to remove all these values. Now, what I want for 1951 for Austria to take the GDP value for Austria in 1951 and divide by the employment numbers in 1951 for Austria and hit enter. So I've now got GDP per worker for Austria for 1951. Now I can then hover over the green square in the bottom, left click and drag the formula across. And then I can hover over again and double click to send the formula down. So we've now populated this with GDP per capita for each country for each year. Now, the first value we're going to be looking for for this is the standard deviation. So we want to take standard deviation of GDP per worker in 1951 across all our countries. To do so, we type equal to STDEV, and we're going to use the sample formula. Okay, so we're going to type dot s, open bracket, and select the values for 1951, and close bracket, and hit enter. We now have got the standard deviation value. Next, we want to calculate the average value. So I'm going to type equal to, a, b, e, r, a, g, e, and select again the exact same values I had selected for the standard deviation. And this gives us the average value for all those countries for GDP per worker. And I'm now going to divide the standard deviation by the average. And this will give us our coefficient of variation of 0.41. Now, I'm just going to highlight these and drag them down so that the formula copies for each year. And what we can now see here is we've calculated a measure of dispersion for each year of our data. And we can plot this now and look to see what that dispersion looks like. Has it increased or decreased, signifying convergence or divergence?